Play Art Foundation is starting a new unit. We're getting in ready for our perspective unit. So before we can do our linear perspective, we're going to talk about the six devices of perspective. Um, so here we go. Uh, perspective is any visual device that creates the illusion of space and depth on a two-dimensional surface. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can create that space or that depth besides just doing linear perspective. You, um, and we're going to go, these are just visual examples of the different ways, but we're going to go over each of them. Okay, before we do that, you have to remember there's three parts to your picture, three parts to your picture plane. You have foreground, which are things that are closest to you, like the lady and the man with the umbrella. And you have things in the middle ground, which are things in the middle, you know, um, they're medium size. And then background objects are um, farther away and they're small. So you have those three different levels, background, middle ground, foreground, and your picture plane. Now you have six different devices. We have overlapping, size, detail, placement, linear perspective, and color perspective. Overlapping objects are um, in front, partially covering. Um, cover objects that are behind. So you just have, you know, one thing slightly covering another. They're not completely covering, so you don't see it. It's just right there where you can see one thing in front of another. Then you have size variation or size where you have things going from larger to smaller. Okay, we've already talked about this one in the beginning. So you can see the larger um, people, then you have the medium people, the lady with the red umbrella, and then all the way in the very back, things get smaller and smaller. So size variation. Then you have placement. Placement is where the things are the same size, but where you place them gives the illusion, the appearance, um, if it's closer to you or further away. All right. So um, in the drawing over here, you can see the fortune cookies. They're low on the on the picture plane, so that's representing foreground. And then you have your object, your actual, you know, takeout box is in the middle. And then if we had something off in the distance, where the table edge is, and then the floor would be your background. So then you have detail. Okay, detail means objects have less detail as they go further away so they're blurred but then when they're close up they're super detailed right so super detail and then blurry off in the background now you got linear perspective um you've got one point perspective two point perspective heck there's three point perspective and four there's all different types of perspective, but we're just going to be focusing on one and two point perspective, okay? With one point perspective, um, it's just everything is going to one point, okay? It's like everything is receding and disappearing to one point, and you can see the front of the object. In two point perspective, you have two vanishing points, and um, you, you see things at an angle. Okay, you're, you're not looking at anything in a straight on view, it's an angle view. So because of that, you're going to have two different directions to go to where things are going to be disappearing. So that's your linear perspective. A little bit more about linear perspective. Um, um, Bruno Lecce of Florence, um, he really was the one during the Renaissance time period that um, paid a close attention to perspective all right um so you know instead of those flat looking buildings things start to look a little bit more realistic in paintings and drawings and carvings and everything um because he used the vanishing point and um had things looking like they were disappearing so they had you know things getting smaller in the distance but proportionally they were correct because he, he came up with the concept of doing your the linear perspective then you have color perspective as objects recede, their local colors, meaning their real colors lose intensity. All right. And um, it was first observed with Leonardo da Vinci, and he called it atmospheric perspective, all right, or the perspective of disappearance. 
he noticed that colors receded, they mixed with the atmosphere and became less intense, okay? Usually your cooler colors are in the background and your warmer colors are in the foreground. So check out this picture and see, can you find six different devices of perspective in this painting by Grant Wood, the American Gothic? Um, you might find all six or you might find four, you might find five, but look at it and see if you can't pick out which ones are which. All right, if you're looking hard, look, this pitchfork right here, definitely overlapping and he's overlapping her. So you definitely got overlapping going on. You've got some size variation because you got large and then you got small, okay? You've got color perspective because they're warm colors and in the background you got your cooler colors. Um, if you look at the house itself, you can see the front and you see the front of the barn, but then you can see the side. So technically, if we could run a perspective, you'd see linear perspective going on there. Um, let's see, you would have mm, detail because they're very detailed. You can see stitches and buttons and everything, and then off in the distance, you just see these green little, you know, representation for trees in the background, but not a whole lot of detail. You're not going to see every leaf, right? So, yeah, this has a nice amount of them going on here. All right. All right. Um, and here's another one, Hunters in the Wood. Um, see if you can pick out the six devices of perspective in this painting. Now for your assignment today, you're going to be creating a drawing yourself, all right? Your own drawing, but I want to see the different devices going on. So, so that's what I want you to think about, okay? Look at your six devices. I want you to maybe look outside the window, do a landscape drawing, um, or you can look inside your, your room, pick a room and do a drawing in your room. Um, but I want a scene, okay? I want, you know, I want a scene. I want to see something that's close up. I want to see something in the middle. I want to see something far um, in the background. So you definitely have to have um, your background, middle ground, foreground, all right? Maybe on, if you're doing a picture of a table, kitchen table, maybe on the kitchen table, you might have three oranges or three something and the way you have them positioned can show placement. Um, you might have the kitchen counters in the back, um, whatever, or you might see trees in the back if you're looking out your window and you're drawing something from, um, from the inside out. So you might even have your window pane, okay, in the way. And then from there, what's outside your window? So be creative. Think about the different devices and um, pick at least four, okay? Four of those six um, devices need to be illustrated in your one drawing, all right? So four, okay? Have fun with it.